Hey guys, Phantom Designs here, and like I said, I'm going to be showing you how I did the Twixter looking effect inside of Final Cut Pro 10 that I used in this clip. And also, I do not have Twixter Pro, I just used the slow motion V timing inside of Final Cut. Um, so let's jump right into this and go and create a new project, and I'll just call it Store. There we go. Okay, and now you're gonna drag your clip in that you have, and let it just render out. It shouldn't take that long, but sometimes it does. Okay, now that this is rendered out, we're gonna go and select the part that we want to slow mo down. So I'm gonna start the slow motion right as I start zooming in which is right there so I'll go frame ahead of it and use the blade tool and just slice the clip and then I'm gonna slow it down up into the point where I shoot them so I'll go the frame ahead of that and let's just zoom in a little bit here Okay, now that that is the slope, the, po the part I want to slow down is selected. Now we're going to go and actually select onto that clip and go into the retiming tool, which looks like a little speedometer gauge, and go to slow and slow it down to, let's say, 25%. Now what it's going to do is it's going to retime it, which will take longer for you guys since it has to analyze the clip. But for me, it's already done that, so it should just render out right away and I should be set. Okay, but now when I play this, as you can see, it's really choppy and doesn't have a kind of, like, let's say, Twixter-looking effect, like the smoothness of Twixter with, like, the frame blending and kind of like the blur and all that. So in order to get that, keeping the clip selected, go into the same retiming tool, go down to Video Quality, and click on Optical Flow. Now, when this renders out, you'll see a big difference in what it was and what it is now. You'll see how it almost looks exactly like Twixter, and you're not using the Twixter plugin. So now when I play it, you can see how it looks a lot more like Twixter. And that is how you get a Twixter effect inside of Final Cut Pro 10 without actually having the plug-in Twixter. I hope this tutorial will help a lot of people with their Modern Warfare 3 clips since that game I guess is pretty big now. Um, also, if you get a chance to please subscribe to my uh, other channel, my clan channel, which is Connecticut Quickscopers. Uh, I'll post a link in the description. So. That clan is a competitive sniping clan, and we do uh, mini one-clip edits every week. So if you like to see clips of Modern Warfare 3 edited, and you like to see a competitive sniping clan, I would suggest subscribing to us. So thank you for watching, and I hope this helped you guys out a lot.